Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here is follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1 plus 4 raised to power x equals to 36 here. And here we have 4 raised to power x common. We factor it out and we have 4 raised to power x into bracket here. We have 4 raised to power 1, which is 4, and plus. Here we have 1 left, close bracket, equals to 36 on this side. And this becomes 4 raised to power x times 4 plus 1, that's 5. Then all over equals to 36 here, rather. And here, Divide both side by 5. This divide this side by 5. Also divide this side by 5. Here, 5 cancel each other. We are left with 4 raised to power x equals to 36 over 5. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is here, we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 36 over 5 here. That is, next step, we apply the power of log here. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. Then, what we have becomes x log 4 equals to log 36 over 5. Then, Next step here, we divide this side by log 4. Divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. That is, log 4 cancelled each other here. We are left with x, which is equal to log 36 over 5 divided by log 4. Then, this follows from a log logarithm. When we have log a over b, this is the same thing as log a minus log b. As this, we have x equals to log 36 minus log 5 over log 4. The next step here. We separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 36 over log 4 minus log 5 over log 4. That is, we can write 36 here as 4 times 9. This here we have x equals to log. 4 times 9 over log 4 then minus log 5 over log 4 that is here yeah, this follows the law of logarithm when we have log a times b which same thing as log a plus log b then what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 4 minus log 5 over log 4. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions. What we have becomes x equals to log 4 over log 4 minus log 9 over log 4 sorry this is plus not minus and here we have minus log 5 over log 4 then here we have log 4 cancel each other one left here that is x equals to 1 plus log 9 over log 4 minus log 5 over log 4. 
The next step here, 9 can be written as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. And also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, which is 2 square. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 3 square over log 2 square minus log 5 over log 2 square. That is, here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes here, also here, and also from here, and we have x equals to 1 plus 2 log 3 over 2 log 2 minus log 5 over 2 log 2. Then we have log 2 cancel each other. Yeah, we have x equals to 1 plus log 3 over log Two then minus here we can write it as one over two times log five over log two. Then when we apply change of base, when we have log a over log b, this is same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to one plus log three base two. Minus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. Then we can bring this together as one fraction. And we have x equals to SCM here is over 1 over 1. SCM here does 2. And this becomes 2 plus. Yeah, becomes 2 log 3 base 2. Then here we have minus log 5. Is two. That is the value of x here. We have two plus two log three base two minus log five is two all over two. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to two plus two log three base two minus log five. Is 2 or over 2. And what we have here becomes 4 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 base 2 or over 2 then plus 1 also plus 4 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 is 2 all over 2 then is it equals to 36 on this side that is next step here you can bring this power up here together this 1 over 1 that is we have 4 raised to power SM up here that's c2 and here we have 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 is 2 then plus 2 now. Also plus here we have 4 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then next step here we have over 2 here as well. We can express 4 as 2 square, which is raised to power. 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 base 2 plus 2 all over 2. Then also plus 4 here as well as 2 square, which is raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then this power multiplies two here cancel each other. We are left with two raised to the power two plus two log three base two. Then 
of course, 2 plus 2, we can say that is 4. That's 2 raised to the power of 4. Then plus 2 log 3 raised to 2 minus log 5 raised to 2. Then plus also 2 cancel each other here. We have 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 base 2. Is it equal to 36 on this side? Then when we apply the law of indices, what we have a raised to power m plus n is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. And also a raised to power m minus n. Same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. Then we combine the two here. And when we separate this, we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 over 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 then plus. Also here we have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 over 2 raised to power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then 2 raised to the power 2 to multiply itself 4 times as 16. Then times. Here we reverse this 2 from power log. And we have 2 raised to the power log 3 squared. That's 9 base 2 over 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2. And plus 2 squared. That's 4. Then also here we have times 2 raised to power we divide this 2 over we have 2 raised to power log 3 square that's 9 raised to over 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is it equals to 36 on this side that is yeah this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b and this here we have 16 times 9 yeah and over 5 plus here we have 4 times 9 over 5 is it equals to 36 on this side that is here we can bring this together as one fraction let's say mst5 then we have 16 times 9 144 then plus 4 times 9 that's 36 is equal to 36 on this side and 144 plus 36 180 over 5 is equal to 36 here and of course 180 over 5 gives us 36 which is equal to 36 here then left hand side is equal to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 5 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget your steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now